Game two between Hunt and Talisman after that absolute nail biter in the first. Has now his US forces. He has heavy cavalry, airborne, and infantry company. And Talisman as OKW. He has breakthrough, special operations, and Luftwaffe ground forces. I think this is like a pretty good map for US forces compared to like crossing in the woods. Cloudy Firm is pretty good for US forces as well though. Tells me getting some sandbags down here. Pretty good spot for sandbags actually because you're probably going to be charging out of your base trying to fight squads, trying to cap on your fuel there so I don't think I've seen too many players put a sandbag here but I think it's a pretty good spot for it a lot of wire for Hunt he's continuing to put those tank traps and wires down I think if you you know if you got the time to do it like you do at the start of the match I think it's a very good idea Third rifle for Hans coming in. Talisman on the other hand for going going for the Kubel. It's going to go for fault screen gears. Which as I said I think is the right play on this map. We did see Hans get pretty good utility out of it on the uh, Plodney Firma but this is quite a small map. Talisman. Got a sandwich a squad of rifles here. Oh, what? I should, he should have just left them standing there shooting. What is he doing? Why is he running away? Oh, what is he doing? If he just left them standing there, this squad would have come in to support earlier. Oh, this is a very curious play. He, I mean, either way he's going to win this engagement, but he could have won it handily. Instead, he's only going to, like, medium win it. Very uh, unusual. And now with this extra squad of riflemen coming in, they close the distance while this squad's shooting at this one, and maybe Hans can win this engagement now because of how badly Talisman played that last engagement. Four rifles for Hans, four Fox Grenadiers for Talisman. Talisman's got his tech truck on the field already so he's access to the incendiary grenades if he so chooses well he doesn't quite have the munitions for them but just about there so will he be the battle group or will he go for the mechanized seem to be uh well Hans likes the battle group I care like the mechanized what is Talisman going to go for I'm not sure Where really these sandbags here coming in, clutch, making this engagement very easy, which would otherwise maybe be a struggle. Hunt's closing in here, putting pressure onto this cutoff. It's not really cutting off too much, just the munitions point. Talisman bringing in this squad, but they picked up a Metacray. They're not going to get full value out of that heal unless they disengage, which they are. They're disengaging to the north, where he's regathering quite a lot of territory. Screen is over here getting some capping done. On the VP. So I think so far Hans has had the stronger early game. Seems like he's had better map control, better fuel control. Talisman is going to go for the battle group. Hans has already got his captain out though. And very close to the amount of fuel for a Stuart. That's going to be a very fast Stuart. Hunt's got off to a nice start so far. Reinforcements in. Welcome to the Death Factory, boys. 
Quite a, you know, re reasonably slow pace to this match compared to some of the other games we've seen and how aggressive we know that these two factions can be, US Forces and OKW can be so aggressive in the early game, but these guys playing quite a patient start, finding quite a lot of like longer range engagements, cover versus cover. Which is kind of leading to like a reasonably slow command point clock as well. We haven't seen all out violence so far, and Hans is definitely getting the better of these engagements. The Pioneer's in a good position now, though. The squad leaving the cover, trying to pursue the soft retreating Fox Street is nice. Eight there by Talisman. But still only controlling a very small segment of the map and it's about to become even smaller once the steward arrives talisman going for the isg so it looks like he's not going to go for the flat half track maybe he feels like it's uh just too late for the timing on it given how bad his fuel control was early no he's going for the flat half track after the isg oh, like he was strapped for manpower like he couldn't build the flak half track because he went for the ISG and to note Telsman cancelling the <laughs> as soon as he saw the, the Stuart he's like oh no I'm cancelling the flak half track I don't fancy my chances but he's in a, he's in a bad state right now perhaps he can do it like Hans though rely on the team weapons to Claw his way back into the game. Sure getting some good hits in here. That one connects with the wall though. Captain over here, he's upgraded with the bazooka already, but we're not actually going to see a light vehicle from Talisman, so that bazooka is actually going to hurt his anti-infantry capabilities on that squad. So that's a small edge for Talisman. It's, he's not going to win in the game for sure, but could help him win an engagement where otherwise he would struggle. And Hans is just in such a good position. Already got weapon racks, ambulance, and a steward. Eight minutes into the game. Things looking really good for him here. You're pushing forwards, knocks out the sandbag with it. So it tells me we won't be able to use that cover going forwards. Nice G getting a nice hit in there. Stuart up here doing some damage, but Rakidden gets a hit. Forcing it back for repairs. This squad has the STG, probably going to win this engagement now. Hans needs to bring this bar squad down. But he wants to continue capping the VP. Well, we got some bazookas here from Hans as well. Going for early bazookas when we've just seen no inclination by Talisman to go for a light vehicle. Very curious why he's gone for bazookas. Sure, I mean, get some, but I'd be prioritizing bars at this point. Especially given that you know. Talisman's gone for the battle group HQ. So you don't have to worry about like a Puma coming coming along and ruining your day or anything like that. He of course knows he's gone battle group because he's got the ISG on the field. Oh, Falschim Jäger being dropped in. Take a little bit of damage on their landing from those barred up rifles. Falschim Jäger, I think this is like a really good timing for Falschim Jäger for Talisman. He needs a little bit more elite infantry, but can't afford his tech yet. It's generally a good time for Falschim Jäger. Straight away, 
in jeopardy of going down though as they cross this negative cover road. Oh my god, that was a close call. That was a really close one. Tells me getting a little bit lucky there. So tells me coming up on uh, enough fuel for his tick. So he's probably going to want to try and uh, set up a nice position over here, get his tech truck, pop it down here so he can try and lock down this fuel. 50 cal here dropped in by Hans as well. And here doing some damage. Nice cheap. Popping off shots at the 50 cal, forcing it to backpedal a little bit. Stuart in here doing some good damage. Ken gets a hit in, but with only one Raken and really very little threat to kill the Stuart, I'm only going to be fighting it off. IG actually has to backpedal a little bit. I imagine that squad was actually inside its minimum fire range, so he couldn't shoot at it there. Talisman really struggling. Has captured quite a lot of territory down here, but that's about to come to an end. I'm sending a pretty formidable force down there. Already has Major as well. Oh, that was actually the killing blow on the Stuart, I'm pretty sure. That's getting a little bit lucky. I suppose, yeah, I'm not really sure what the chances of it landing a shot there, but could have lost it. I think Hunt honestly could have closed in there and still won that engagement against the Stern Pioneers. He backed off, played it safe. Tasman goes truck in production, and he does have quite a lot of territory up here, so maybe he's going to try hang on. Get his flak base down in a decent position and then uh, work from there. So this nice G hasn't really had much of an impact on the match. What was that? That was very uh, aggressive uh, alert, wasn't it? I think there was like a Stuart shot that just like flew all the way over there and connected with the HQ. Americans attacking the HQ from the other side of the map. With a 40, 40 damage shot. Oh, that was 80 damage, isn't it? Senior grenade goes in. Hans gets out. Still probably not going to help him win this engagement, though. Pushing Mega out there. But this Stuart will be back up to full pretty soon. Coming to do some more damage. She's been firing almost constantly, finally getting some kills at Pivot 1. You know, the ISG's variance is like, pretty unimpressive, generally. So, uh, you're vetting it up doesn't really even matter that much. And it's quite hard to vet up as well, past uh, vet 3. Almost never see it these days. Kidden crept forwards, got another hit in. The Stuart has been taking quite a lot of shots, being spent repairing for most of the last few minutes. But Hans has got a Sherman just about complete. And that could do some major damage to Talisman. Talisman's gonna need another Rakitten, that's for sure. 
This munitions control has also been very poor, so he hasn't really planted any mines down. And Han's actually going for a T gun. I wonder if he's going to try to put a siege down on this HQ here. Got a 50 cal in a very aggressive position. Gets flanked by those fox traders. Sherman switching around so it can't fire quite yet. And there it goes. There's a pretty good damage in with its first hit. Talisman kind of boxing himself into this northern region of the map. Trying to hang on here. And Hans pouring out the aggression. Trying to steal away Talisman's last remaining corner of the map. Oh, it was a Zook shot, okay. Similar thing though, right? Scattered for miles. Oh, is that a second ISG? It is indeed. Sandbag position gets destroyed, but Falschenmeg is still up here. Still holding on to this VP. Talisman only draining very slowly because of that. He's now branching out to the south with the Minesweeper. Got some territory down there, but he is very exposed to the Sherman. Almost loses the squad. Sherman gonna go in? Oh, he's so risky going in against those flanking placements. Even medium tanks have to worry about them a little bit. Take a flank placement shot, take a Faust. Tanks then in potentially quite a lot of trouble. Tasman gets neutralized, has to retreat against the incoming Sherman. Playing it very conservatively, trying to retreat before he takes any manpower damage at all. Not even trying to, you know, complete the cap on either of these points, just getting out of there, conserving his manpower. Trying to claw his way back into this match. And he's actually very close to the amount of fuel for a Panzer IV now. Oh, the squad's on the wrong side of the cover. That could be disastrous. Oh, and they nearly die. Jim, we're going to try to chase in for the kill. And he gets it. Yeah, standing on the wrong side of heavy cover. That'll, that'll catch you out. That's not what Talesman needed. Oh. Sherman dashing out the pain. Must be, uh... You have 13 kills on that bad boy already. This double ISGs are doing some pretty good damage though. Seems like two ISGs is uh, a lot scarier than one. Just you know, two shells can land and quickly knock down the health of your squad. There's one, you know, it might take a whole barrage before forcing it away. Tangible going in here. Very, dodged immediately by Hans. He was watching that sh the reactions. Smoke coming in though from Talisman. Opening up the cap in the center. Good way to neutralize the machine gun there. This Falschimeg squad has been doing such a good job holding this Northern VP Hunt. Finally forcing it away but he did an admirable job. Talisman locking down that Northern VP for so long, keeping him in the game by not even draining that many VPs whilst being so far behind. Hans has tech grenades himself now. And P4 in production for Talisman. He's got to make it happen with this. Hans is actually going for the Scott here. Wants some indirect fire of his own. Scott, you know, 
pretty effective against infantry and talisman obviously has you know a few support weapons but in the form of these the kittens but they're going to be camouflaged most of the time so it's not like he has machine guns that the scott can constantly fire at oh man oh that was a close call double isgs actually seem to be so much more lethal than just one Hans oh no i thought he forgot about this base but he's actually dropping in some artillery on it with a major artillery only zero major artillery though so it's not terribly powerful doesn't have the bonus shells on it yet it's got his anti-tank gun in position as well gonna try attack ground connecting with the truck currently perhaps the sounds of that giving away his attack his intended attack at least Oh man, is he ever gonna land a shot on it? He is having no luck at all with that M1. Okay. Machine gun gets forced away. Those double ISGs are really working a treat for Talisman. M1. Activated the armor piercing rounds, gets through on the P4's armor. This is a back talisman, is capping down here in the south, but he's so far behind, two, over 250 VPs behind at this stage. Army sizes, though, very close to even between these two. Even, you know, most Hans has all of his vehicles crewed currently, so army size very close to even. Hans still has a fuel edge. We have three tanks, upgrades, both weapon and grenades, and more fuel in the back, which he's now spending on a Jackson. So similar to the last game, it's going to come down to Talisman's... Oh my god, he just deleted that squad! One shot from the squad, Scott. One shot, five kills. Squad down. That's why he got the Scott. He can just occasionally do those miracle wipes. Oh, it looks like only four kills. Oh! Oh, I heard a grenade go off and another squad down. Poor Talisman. Just as he was back in the game. You know, army sizes were the same. He loses two squads and he's back. Back in... <laughs> Back in deep trouble, so I had to turn off my alarm there. Yeah. M1, picking shots, only connecting for one. Looking for a squad of Obers. God, my other alarm went up as well. <laughs> okay. We're back though, we're back. LMG's doing some good work on the M1 and he decrews it. Similar situation though, we're getting in trouble from the Scots. It gets away. He maintains the veteracy on it. Nice. Nice to see. SGs have been chipping away. Five kills on both of them, though one of them's way higher in the veterancy scales. And Talisman, even after losing two squads, in control two VPs. So it feels like Hans is ready to explode towards victory. He's got enough munitions for the P47s now. Once all his armor's repaired, it should be in a commanding position. Back to full. Now 
Seeing a shot. Jackson coming around from the north. It's a good hit in. So they're both going to back away. Khan's probably respecting the threat of a camouflage for Ken by not chasing in any further there. Infantry coming back onto the field now. Talisman though has managed to save up enough resources. I mean, is he going to go for a panther now? He's got quite a lot of resources in the bank. He's just about there for the panther. Just a tiny bit more fuel. Shots firing from multiple angles. P4 takes a lot of damage. Camouflage for kittens about face. Riflemen charging in though, and they do reveal one of the kittens. P4. Oh, P4 goes down long range to the M1. Just a bit risky just leaving it around there on half health. And that was really bad timing for Talisman to lose his tank right before his second tank arrived. Just again, another setback for Talisman. And at this point, if you're Hans, you got to be thinking, well, I'm, I'm pretty far in the lead here. Now I just got to make sure that I win by a large VP score so I can pick the faction. I think uh, there was about 200 rem remaining last match. At the moment, at 421, he's looking like he's going to have faction selection. Here is the Panther. So we saw Hans do a lot of work with his command Panther last game. Let's see if Talisman can get something done with the regular Panther. Uh-oh, Sherman's charging in here, get caught in a very bad time. Panther needs to get the kill there, and it does. Hans pops the P-47s, but all it's going to do is a little bit of damage here. Not going to kill the Panther, so okay. They both kind of uh, threw away the medium tank. Oops. So it's still in anyone's game. Certainly Hans still has the lead. But after losing that Sherman, things are looking a lot better for Talisman. have a hundred percent chance to penetrate against the German and so does the Panther. Panther wants to go after these Scots, he's had enough. And the Jackson not actually in position to return fire quite yet. The M1 is though good hit in. Rakit's creeping up. Oh, but if he enters the capping circle, might give away his intentions here. Talisman calling in Volshimjager right in the center. Very ballsy. He's very long VPs though. He's capping in the north. Volshimjager coming in. Rakit sneaking around. Panther also roaming around. Hans probably hearing that through the fog of war. Decides to pull back a little bit. Ouch! Mission 
gonna almost go down there. Dalsman charging in. Jackson's in a good position. Activates the shell shock. And has to pull back. Grenade easily dodged. He's paying attention, as Talisman. Stern Pioneer's getting cut down by those Vet 3 riflemen. Stern Pioneer's don't have enough Vet themselves to compensate. Ooh! Nice G's coming in. He's sneaking these bad boys up. This could be a heroic moment or could result in his ultimate downfall. He's gonna run into infantry first, but he finds one of the Scots. It's Vet 1 though, he has access to the smoke. Pop smoke, Panther charging in. Panther gets the kill on one of them and both the Rakitans are gonna escape. But what about his Panther? Panther, he's getting away. Talisman lost control in the north though. He's so low on VP, so despite picking off that Scott, he's still in deep trouble. He's having a lot of trouble with the VPs. He calls in the smoke though. Cutting off that 50 cal. Helping him with the cap in the center. Then comes the Stuart. Panthers back for repairs, can't contribute. Pops the frangible. Oh! Those V3 bar riflemen, double bar riflemen, just so scary. And it looks like Talisman is not to be for him. He's battled valiantly, but he's about to drain out on VPs. Might be able to capture that one in the north, but I don't think he's got any real designs with the other ones. SG7 pop. Pretty similar to most other mortars. Basically the same as one squad of infantry, right? Which I think is a fair price. Oh no, that's it, Panther goes down, takes engine damage, Jackson's there as the cleanup crew, 31 VPs remaining and he calls the GG. Arn's just like right from the start, taking better engagements and he just kept that lead throughout the match, Talisman couldn't quite claw his way back in, losing units at just the times when it looks like he was going to turn the corner. Game three coming up next.